Hey everybody, I'm here, I'm back. Let's make some limoncello. First step in making limoncello is, like, share, subscribe, you know, smash all the buttons down there. You got it. Let's talk about the equipment first, then we'll talk about the first step. First, you're gonna need to get the zest off of the lemons. Peeler will do a good job, but it takes off too much pith, and that's the bitter stuff. This microplane, it'll take a little bit, but it'll do a good job. You need a jar. You remember these jars from making cold brew. You also need lemons, vodka. That's 100 proof. First thing we need to do though, is get these clean. That means taking off these little stickers. I remember one of my first jobs. We're in the middle of service and the person that prepped the peppers for the salad station didn't peel these off, just cut them with them on there. So imagine hands gloved up, trying to get stickers off of a wet slimy piece of pepper. It doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna clean these and I'll be right back. Okay, these are clean. You wanna clean them because sometimes, a lot of times they are packed with a film of wax on top of them. You wanna get rid of that. You know, and of course, you always will have like dust or whatever at the grocery store. So it's always a good idea to just clean them off. So advantages and disadvantages of the peelers. Advantages of this, well, we'll get to them. Disadvantages and advantages. One, you get nice big strips with this. But unless you're careful, you get too much of this pith. That's that white stuff right there. So you then have to come back with a knife and scrape that off. That's a huge disadvantage because in the time that it take me to scrape all that pith off, I could have this whole thing done with a microplane. So just stroke it along and look, no pith is coming along with that. And the other part is, is that this will shorten the extraction time because you've got, you know, finer pith or finer zest. So I'm going to finish these up and I'll be right back. We'll chat for a little bit after that. Okay, so I've got the zest of 10 lemons. That may be a little bit too much. Um, I, with this type of thing, I would rather have too much lemon than too little. So I'm gonna mix in three quarters of a liter of 100 proof vodka. And now all we have to do is forget about it. Put it in a cool, dry place for a week. And yeah, I'll be back in a week. Hi everybody, I'm back. It's been a week. I got a little sun. I went to Utah for a few days. I watched my daughter race in a couple of 50 mile endurance rides. That was, that was fun. A lot of sun. I got some photos too that I'm gotta edit those. I got a lot of photos to edit. And 
but I need to get this video done. So as you can see, I, you really can't tell the green tinted bottle here, but there is a lot of color and you'll notice it when I empty this out. The next step we have to do is to uh, come up with a sugar syrup. Now this is not gonna be like your typical simple syrup, which is two parts sugar and one part liquid or water. This is just gonna be about a cup of water and three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. A lot of limoncello recipes that I've seen online, um, and you know, here's the other thing. When I come up with my recipes, I like to see what everybody else is doing and then use what I want from one person to the next person and then make my own recipe. I've made limoncello before and the big thing I had, the big problem I had was that it was way too sweet. So I'm cutting this down to about a half. So this is geared towards 750 milligrams of alcohol or vodka. I've got a cup and three quarters of a cup. And also while we're doing this, we need to consider final destination. I've got a one liter bottle. Great thing, I think I got, uh, uh, I think that came with uh, some meat from a local meadery. That's gonna come to a boil and we're gonna start straining this. Again, I'm gonna use this fine mesh strainer. If you don't have this, again, cheesecloth through a regular strainer. We'll give this a sniff too. Full of lemon. I smell the alcohol, I smell the lemon. And there you can see the color. All right, we'll just let that drip out while that's boiling. So what you wanna do when you're doing a simple syrup or any kind of syrup is you want it to boil for a good bit of time, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And what that will do is it will clarify the sugar solution and make sure that it's all if you don't do that, it's gonna get all cloudy and stuff like that. And this will work all that out of there. It'll only take a minute. I'm gonna remove this. Look at the color on that. Beautiful yellow. Now, once this is done boiling and stuff, you've gotta let it cool. So I'm gonna cut out for a little bit after this is cooled down and I'll be back and we will mix this together and then we'll bottle it and then we're gonna have to let it set for two more weeks. I said this was good, I didn't say it was fast. But you know, sometimes good things are worth a wait. Now we're gonna let that cool. I'll be back when it's cool. All right, it took about 10 minutes. Everything's cooled down, just pour it in there. I'm going to give it a mix. And we'll uh, pour this into the bottle. Funnel comes in handy here. This sits on a shelf for two weeks. I'll be back. Okay, it's been two weeks. 
That two weeks is important. It lets the uh, flavors really mellow and meld together and just really makes for a better product. Let's give it a taste. Oh, by the way, last night I threw this in the freezer. There you go. Beautiful yellow color. The aroma is a slightly sweet, a little lemony, and the stuff is delicious. See you next time. Hey, like, subscribe, smash all the buttons, except for the dislike. I'll see you next time. Oh, these lemons that we got the zest from, don't throw them away. You can still make like lemonade with them.